Hi, I'm Gail Zucker. I do a lot of the photography for the Barocco patterns, and I am here with some photo tips for shooting your knits to show them off and share them online and just working with your house and your smartphone, a little good light, maybe a little lipstick. It'll be great. I'm going to shoot a small finished project, a hat and some yarn near a window flat on the floor. Really easy. I'm just going to start out by grabbing whatever's handy for a background. Once you've found your good light, you want to find some way to prop your phone up and get some distance from yourself to the camera. You don't want to be holding it at arm's length. That always turns out awkwardly. So a selfie stick that can be propped up is good or one of these kind of tripods with flexi arms or you can DIY a holder. The paper cup phone holders work surprisingly well and my only advice is cut a few of them while you're doing it because it's really easy to squash them while you're angling them in different places and even try a few different sizes so you can balance them on ledges or shelves or even on your window panes. I'm setting up my phone facing into the room so the window light behind it is coming in and spreading nicely all over the picture. Sweater looks great, background not so much. But the light's good, so prop the camera up in another angle and try again. No matter how nice the exposure, you probably need to do some adjusting to make a really good image out of it. So what we want to do is start out by rotating it or moving it side to side to straighten it up and then crop in and get rid of things like lines that are going through the head, bring the attention in to the knit that you're showing off, and then use the adjustments, just kind of go through each one, adjust the exposure and concentrate on showing off the part that's the most important to you in the picture. This is just using the basic photo editing that comes in photos on an iPhone. And I know that if you're on an Android, you have the same thing in your photo roll. Just simple editing for exposure, contrast, highlights, and shadows. Using a self-timer is really frustrating. I like an app called Photo Timer Plus because it lets you set how many seconds until your first picture. It lets you choose a number of exposures, one, three, five, ten. 10. It lets you choose two, the one. interval between the photos. I like three, three seconds. It gives two, me enough time to sort of one. back up and choose a different pose. And three, it also has an two, audio countdown, one. three, two, one, so you know when the shutter's gonna go. I hope these quick tips were helpful and I'd love to see what you do with your pictures. You can give me a follow on Instagram. I'm at Gail Zucker, make sure you get it G-A-L-E. And give me a tag so I can see what you do with photographing your knits. My feed has lots of pictures of knitwear and sheep. See you soon. Bye.